Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 13 of my mobile network overview course. In the previous episode, I've introduced C protocol and uh, say some uh, elementary concepts about this protocol. In this episode, uh, I want to tell you some, uh, as I promised you, I want to tell you some real scenarios and uh, tell something about the uh, message description and uh, detail, okay? Uh, right now you can see for example some uh, it can be a user agent or it can be a server no difference okay uh, the message the, the important things here that I want to show is the message and the transactions okay you can you can see that this uh, phone right now or this subscriber on a call for example subscriber a want to call subscriber B can see that it will send an invite message and uh, here if we have a if we have a proxy server a trying message will send to the subscriber or to server a uh, the reason of this trying message is that for example if a one timer t1 is a starting here we send this message trying because uh, we want to say the a party or the originating party that uh, I'm I received your message so please uh, uh, end this timer and don't expire the session okay and uh, respectively we can sing uh, we can see that this invite is uh, sending to this uh, terminating part and also as I told to you this message trying uh, is uh, as I uh, described uh, is sending to this proxy server to tell him that I received uh, your message when this uh, phone become ringing you can see that 180 ringing is sending to proxy server and it will also send it to the A as you can see here uh, in this in this moment subscriber a will uh, will hear a ring and will wait for the b party to answer his phone if the b party answers his phone so a, a 200 okay message will send to him and in this uh, after sending the acknowledgement from a party here the control plane is already done and uh, we will have RTP the media the conversation will be start here through uh, RTP protocol which is really uh, popular for media uh, transfer because uh, as you know uh, for media transfer we should have a protocol that is based on a unreliable transport protocol like UDP and it is uh, exactly uh, true for this protocol RTP RTP is popular uh, for sending uh, uh, for transferring uh, multimedia messages like audio video and the protocol is that stack is like this RTP UDP and IP okay after the conversation uh, in this in in this uh, time uh, we all we only have rtp messages and after the conversation finished for example if a uh, subscriber to want to finish the call he will uh, hook up he will uh, disconnect the phone and a buy message will send to the a party as you can see here okay it's a very simple scenario uh, in SIP. I uh, I have prepared one as I told to you. I have prepared one Wireshark message uh, which contains PCAP, uh, and you can uh, if you like to have uh, this. Uh, you can easily find it on the net. But if you can, if you want it to, uh, if you want to get it from me. You can uh, send me an email to wolhassani at gmail.com Also you can ask your questions or uh, from other ways in the social media uh, Okay
I can send it to you. Uh, but let's go through the details of zip message. Uh, I should tell one another point here that uh, in this episode, I, that I think it's the last episode that I'm talking about the SIP protocol uh, for now because uh, after this I think I should uh, continue uh, for finishing the CS part and then after CS part we will start PS and EPC and then after uh, after finishing the EPC part I will go through IMS plus Volta and in uh, this in this section again we will talk more or some more details about C protocol so don't worry it's uh, the last episode of the SIP here but we will continue in the future in this topic IMS plus volt and hopefully I, I uh, this is the roadmap that I want to tell to you and hopefully after this we will uh, we will talk about 5g okay and an overview on 6g it's a roadmap let's see what will happen okay uh, here we see that uh, a SIP message mm, we see that a SIP message has uh, has three parts okay a request line which you can see here request line a header and a body okay so if I zoom this you can see that uh, in request we are saying that this is an invite method this is the number that we are calling and this is the version of SIP in header here we have the header you can see request line as I told to you and here is the also mm, this is a flag that's uh, that is saying the recent packet is false it's up to the uh, network configuration uh, and you can see this header of zip message uh, this is as I told to you over UDP uh, this is the port and the IP and uh, the root address information from this address for example this is a SIP URI from T-Mobile operator in Hungary you, know, you should know I, I, I will also describe in IMS part that we have uh, some methods for uh, for addressing subscriber in SIP and Volt or, or some uh, SIP applications uh, we have two methods SIP URI and tell URI okay I will uh, explain more in IMS part but here we have a, a SIP URI SIP URI you can see for example a number for example my number no for example this number <laughs> add sign ims.tmobile.d.h or de this is a CP URI message and we can see uh, we are calling this number and from proxy access network it is a uh, it's something uh, interesting for example because we see that it's from 3GPP UTRAN TDD it means that this call is generated from a 3G because as I told to you before UTRAN means 3G so it's it uh, shows to us the uh, access network type for example if i uh, if i was calling from uh, 4g it would be eu tran okay and here we have a maximum forward for example this is 17 it uh, it is like ttl it is because of uh, loop prevention the reason of maximum forward is for loop prevention because uh, in each in each hop or in each uh, agent this number will decrease by one 
exactly like TTL. For example, in the other, in the next uh, agent, it would be 69 and like this. Okay. And this is the type of user agent that you see here IMS soft phone. We can see this is IMS soft phone. And this is the message body. I should tell you that in message body we have a very important, uh, very important part which is session description protocol. Session description protocol is very important. Session description protocol. As the name uh, tells to you, it is uh, it is describing some information about the session. Okay. Uh, for example, the codec. Uh, sample rate and uh, the type of media for example whether it is audio or video and some more information okay uh, okay and also the ip and port of the media okay let me show you um, real Wireshark and then we can finalize this session. As you know also these are some brief fundamental course and this is not the full course. This is just for introductory uh, for uh, some people that are enthusiasts and for more details uh, we can have a, a, a full course okay in the future let me show you this is a um, this is a wire chart sip rtp you can see the first message as you see here the first message here is invite you can see is invite and we also see here invite message from this source to this source to this destination sorry in sip C protocol and it's, uh, I told to you uh, in top of that session, session description protocol we see the protocol stack here this is the data link uh, that we don't uh, mm, it's not very important for us in this uh, uh, in this time uh, we can see also Ethernet here and this is this tool for data link layer this is uh, network layer internet protocol it shows us the version of internet protocol ip which is ipv4 source and destination and some information about the ip and also a very important flag that it's it's telling to us that don't fragment the packets okay and the time to live is 64 and as i also described for you because we should like we should use a connectionless or unreliable protocol for media it is using udp protocol and these are some header checks some for integrity check and source address and destination in the next layer user datagram protocol or udp you can see the source and destination port for udp and also the payload uh, value which is four five eight bytes and the last as i told to you it is sip the protocol that we are talking we were talking about uh, the first part is <clears throat> request line we see the method is invite the uri is this mm -hmm. it's a sip uri and also we see some more details in the header you can see it's from this address it's from this address you can see and to this address from test uh, you can see from sip at 10 02 20 to sip test 10 02 15 in the same port and a call id 
and this is the generated call id and we can see this is invite method and maximum forward is set to 70 70 also the application for session for describing the session is stp and here in the body the most important thing that we can see is session description protocol or stp it shows us some uh, information about the ip that is carrying the media you see 100220 and this is ipv4 and also connection uh, this is connection information this is time description and the time of the packets this is media description i told here that it it defines that whether it is audio or video we can see this is audio the media port is 6000 the media protocol is clear that rtp and the samples per rate is 8 8000 it means that in each it means that in each let me use this uh, when we tell that the sample rate is 8000 sample per second it means that uh, in each second it is uh, sampling 8000 uh, for example uh, I, I remember that uh, I have discussed about this in the previous episode but episodes but uh, if in each sample we save uh, we save in a byte which is 8 bits so 8000 would be 64,000 bits which is 64 kilobit per second that is very uh, very uh, uh, I think uh, uh, how to say it is very popular uh, it is very well known as a, as a popular codec and but very old very old and it is not optimum because as you can see uh, it is using utilizing a very uh, large bandwidth and this is g711 okay so we can see that here this band this codec is used and you can see this media attribute uh, some details about the uh, media attribute and uh, like this okay uh, after this uh, message uh, we can see a trying is sending from the peer part to us as you can see here a trying is sending from the peer part to us then it is a and also we have an unknown message here no problem and then uh, but uh, please remember that uh, that is just a sample and some uh, real message like this are not seen here uh, for example we don't have ringing and something else it's just for sample and just for showing it to you but when the uh, subscriber B call, uh, answers the phone the OK will send and the A will send an acknowledgement and here you can see from the message 6 the, the two, two person are talking together and in each second we can see that 8,000 uh, 8, sample is sending through the rtp and this is the payload okay these are you can see the rtp message in each second and after that and you can see that in the middle of message also the uh, sampling time is is changed maybe because of uh, some uh -huh, because this uh, because this uh how to say uh, conversation is ended and another conversation is started with with a new sample rate which is 16,000 sample per second and we can see after finishing the conversation the RTP work is done and we send a buy and it will send OK and the conversation will be finished OK I think um, it is enough for this episode it was a supplementary uh, discussion about SIP as I promised to you, I will also cover some more things about SIP in uh, when I when I go through IMS plus Volta. I hope this would be uh, I hope this course would be useful and informative for you, and hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.